All right, here's the intake valve. I ran it through the wire wheel on the uh, on the bench grinder and got everything nice and cleaned up in there. And looking at the face of the valve, I really don't see any pitting on the valve. Uh, but here in the cylinder head on the valve seat, there is a little bit of pitting, possibly. Uh, but I did see what I thought was a little bit of pitting on the valve uh, before I ran it through the, the wire wheel. So uh, now we're ready to come in here and actually uh, put some valve lapping compound on here and uh, lap in our valves and see if we can't uh, get that uh, that leak down that the leakage that I was getting through the valves uh, get that to stop. So we get the valve lapping compound and then we'll uh, we'll get started. Now I've got some new stuff here that I've never actually seen before. Um, valve lapping compound, but when I bought it in the past, it just came in one tube. And this one. If you can read that, they actually give you a coarse grit and a fine grit. And I thought that was kind of cool. So, uh, we'll get started on this and uh, we'll get started with, uh, with the coarse grit. So let me get started. I'm actually going to use just a little bit of regular WD-40 as a lubricant. I'm going to spray it inside the valve guide there and then put even just a little bit on the valve stem itself. So I've got the valve lapping compound spread onto the, the valve seat and then onto the actual valve itself. So take that, stick that in there, wipe my fingers off a little bit. Then we got our valve lapping tool. Stick it on there and just start spinning it. And you want to give it kind of pop it like that kind of spreads out the valve lapping compound. Alright, you can see here on the, on the face where it's kind of shiny and then that dull area is what we've just ground down. And we got a little bit more uh, lapping to do uh, but we're getting pretty close. This, uh, this intake valve when I did the leak down test wasn't leaking badly but it was leaking, it was a noticeable leak. And here on the valve seat, uh, I can see that there's really not a lot of pitting there, uh, but I still need to come in here and uh, lap these a little bit more with the coarse grit, and uh, then we'll move on to the fine grit. All right, I'm pretty happy with that surface there on the valve seat. I uh, would put the fine grit on there and uh, lap it in. Come over here to the exhaust seat, and you can see how much of a difference it actually makes there. And here's the, uh, the intake valve itself. You got a pretty nice little area there on the seat. It's not perfect, uh, but to make it perfect, uh, you'd have to take it to the machine shop. And like I said, I'm just doing a backyard uh, kind of refresh uh, on this engine. Uh, I, I am at some point probably going to have this engine uh, fully rebuilt. Um, but for the time being, I just need it to be a running engine. Uh, so that's why I'm just doing it this way. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll just see if we can get rid of the, some of that leak and uh, improve this, uh, the efficiency of this engine a little bit, make it run a little bit better. So uh, we got finished at least lapping in the intake valve, the exhaust valve, just the identical procedure that we just did. So let's stick this valve back in and uh, put the new seal on it and get everything buttoned back up. <laughs> 